Hello and good morning. This is day two in Pondicherry, and currently we are rushing for our breakfast because we have a long day planned ahead. And uh, this restaurant in our hotel is a very sought-after restaurant in Pondicherry. The moment I'll go upstairs, I'll show you around. If you come for dinner in the peak season in this restaurant, you have to be really lucky to get a place. major reason why you will not find Cafe des Arts or any other popular cafes on my Pondicherry vlog is because I used to dine at Grillard's and it is amazing. It's a Merry Christmas morning, 25th of December and we have come to Auroville. I thought that today is the like perfect day to visit this place. Uh, let's show you around also. We are currently walking towards the Matri Mandir viewing point. Uh, first, I think we have to head towards the reception, take our coupons, and then move towards Matri Mandir. It's a long stretch of walk, maybe around one to one and a half kilometers, but it feels so good to be in nature's lap. Oroville is an existential township where people from all over the world, irrespective of religion, caste, gender and creed, they have come here to create a living for their own self. Everything is organic. They create things on their own. And uh, before proceeding towards the Matri Mandir, I think it's very important that we go through the history of Auroville. We have currently made it to the visitor center. This is like a center point of Auroville from where you have to take your free passes for visiting the Matri Mandir. There's a tiny museum inside this visitor center. If you want, you can view that or else you can uh, go for the video rooms also. You can watch a little documentary on the history of Auroville. I have tried to give my best regarding the facts and figures of Auroville. If you want to know in details, you can pause the video and get a look through it. So we came to view the exhibition and uh, let me tell you that all these goods that you can see are extremely overpriced and maybe you won't end up buying much but the fact is that, that it's beautiful to see that these are created, all of these products are created by the people of this existential township from perfumes to soaps to clothes, footwear, you name it and they have it. But every, each and everything is created by the people of this amazing township. This is the free pass that I was talking about. Now we have a one kilometer walk ahead of us to visit the Matri Mandir. If you want, uh, you can go by walking and come by walking or else there's a bus service that is available while coming back so if you want you can avail the bus, bus service while coming back and you can walk the one kilometer to the Matri Mandir the walk through the nature's lap is extremely peaceful and calm and uh, as you keep walking you will come across this uh, shrines where it's written about different kinds of flowers that you will find in this place Each flower has a specific word that is associated with it and a meaning. So that's very interesting to read through. Mm. 
nobody knows the age of this banyan tree but i'm sure it's pretty much some centuries old but just look at the roots trees from like from the mother tree there are so many other banyan trees that have grew out of it and uh, what a picturesque moment this is finally we made it to matri mandir what is the beauty of this matri mandir well now it is closed because of covid but actually inside it's a meditation center there is a lotus inside matri mandir and the sun's rays fall directly on the center of the lotus so if you want you can sit around meditate no phones are allowed inside matri mandir and i hope that i come back once again when there is no existence of covid before we move on to our next destination for today it's time for some ice cream we are at the chunambal boat house and uh, from here you need to take a ferry to reach uh, paradise island or the paradise beach it is 354 rupees per person if you want to get down at the beach if you don't want if you just want a long ride then it is 260 around it's pretty sunny but energy is top notch since it's christmas and too many people are here so we are walking inside towards the jetty from where the boats will leave we have taken the boats directly to reach the paradise beach because i have seen videos and pictures that it's nothing short of heaven so i'm very excited and let's walk towards that's the jetty by the way and it's extremely crowded since it's christmas but yeah can't wait to begin our boat ride We have reached the Paradise Beach, and uh, now we are walking towards the beach area. There is a small cafeteria also where we will take a quick lunch because we have not eaten anything as such since morning. Come, let's show you the Paradise Beach. Oh my goodness this is nothing short of heaven and now i know why people take the boat ride to reach this beach because it's absolutely magnificent and the color of the water is also a very different shade of blue which i have not seen much but yeah i have to fool around and play now catch you up after some time till then enjoy this view The sunset has almost happened and now we are back on our way to the boat house from where we will be heading towards our hotel or maybe somewhere else let's see we'll plan on the way ordered some nimbu pani before heading towards the hotel it has been a pretty exhausting day but absolutely worth each and every energy of mine So now we are back to the hotel we are going to have some snacks and dinner and call it a night I'll see you in my next vlog bye bye